A laboratory would be a major program of assistance to Antigua and Barbuda in the area of vector control. It would enable the country to identify the Aedes aegypti mosquito, which spread diseases such as dengue, chikungunya, and Zika. We evaluated the for a laboratory space, because currently you all don't have a lab. So we are looking for space for, so that you could do identification for Aedes aegypti and not just field identification. Um, so we're looking at a more scientific approach. CAFA partnered with the EU with this critical assessment project, which has the aim of improving public health in the region through several key activities. These include evaluating and assessing the countries for existing or potential entomology laboratory facilities. The activities also include training vector control personnel in the entomological laboratory techniques. Vector control is vital to limit the spread of mosquito-borne diseases. Vector control is any method used to limit the mammals, birds, insects, or anthropods that carry disease pathogens. Now, the most common type of vector control is mosquito control, using a variety of strategies. The Central Board of Health has already gathered crucial data on the areas where mosquitoes are most prevalent. We have some serious challenges with high Breto indices for mosquitoes in Erlin's community, um, Cades Bay. We have very high indices in St. Philip's and New Field, and to some extent, New Windrops and Freeman's Village. Those are six of, our, of the communities that we are most concerned about. Right? And we, I do know that we have challenges with water and water supply, so people tend to store water a bit more on their premise. But what we're asking the public is to cover these containers. By identifying sources of mosquito breeding, a more targeted approach can be taken to combat and reduce the mosquito populations. This is crucial in reducing transmission of Zika, chikungunya, and dengue. Participants are excited to have been a part of this one-week training assessment, and they are keen on implementing many of the mosquito vector control strategies they would have learned. Leon Norville reporting for ABS News.